And it says Taylor Swift. So we're in our truck that's all cleaned out. Everything's spick and span. Well, close enough. Close enough. And really weird. Feels like we're like test driving this. But we are headed over to the Mercedes dealership. Put the camera down. The Mercedes dealership, uh, we're gonna go check out this uh, four wheel drive sprinter now. We saw it already by ourselves, but we didn't drive it because we didn't know how serious we were last time we were here. We're a little bit more serious now than before. Still not 100% convinced because it's so expensive. Look at that Chuck E. Cheese is right there. Oh yeah. Oh, that's, that's where, where he's going to have his birthday. birthday. I want to go right now. Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Can we go right now? It's not his birthday. Oh. Chuck E. Cheese. It was really small. It's a yeah. small one. Have you been, Mama? Yeah, I used to have. I think. Uh, my brother had birthday parties there when it used to be called Showbiz. Oh. It's old school. Pre Chuck E. Cheese days. So it's not an original Chuck E. Cheese. No. Here's a Ford dealership. This is where we went to go try to find transits for the first time. But nobody helped us. So we left. <laughs> they didn't have any. Yet. They had one. The like, yeah, I don't know why that's all they had. We weren't totally serious but now we're a little bit more serious by what we want to do is test drive it because I've driven two of the three different engines of the sprinter no the transit to the right yeah we'll park over here where the buses or the vans are that's the stone gray four-wheel drive sprinter we we're looking at that is our current vehicle our baby Possibly new. Current. Possibly new. Current. Ava. See, it is taller. If you look at the four wheel drive, non four wheel drive, it's taller. It's definitely taller than this when it's not popped up. But it's not as tall popped up I think. It's the crew model with the uh, second row of seats. I only like it because it's big and it's a van and it has a pink license plate. It has pink license plates. They all have pink license plates. <laughs> What's your favorite? I knew that would be your favorite. Daddy, I'll push it in all the way. Uh oh. <laughs> Good to see you again. Good morning. Good morning. All the way, Daddy. Huh? All the way. All the way. Okay. Alright, do you guys want to see this? Go inside, yeah. see what it feels like. Yeah. Okay, open this, open the sliding door. I want it. Okay, let's go. Why is it so high? I don't know. So, Mommy, can I go under the seat? Okay, so this one has the headliner. It has the side panels with the floor. And it has the second row seat. It's the crew, so it has these big side windows. But it doesn't have uh, any way to open them. I like this van, Mommy. You do? Daddy, I like this van. This one's the winner? Let's get this one. This one will be fairly quick to get ready. So, I think... Mommy, how do I push Most eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon? How are the seats? Ava, did you... Daddy, you are you guys comfortable? comfortable? You gotta push this down, yeah. Dad. You gotta oh. push this... Dad, I gotta push this down. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. and it's way easier to take off the seatbelt. In our truck? Yep, it's way easier. Everybody can have uh, maybe their own basket under their seats for their stuff. toys. Let me jump in the gun a little bit. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's where you're gonna sit if we get this? Can we get this one? Yeah, well, you're on Team Mama? Yeah, let's get this one. Now I know how I know what face I'm making. Because I see in the mirror. You do? Thanks. You see the reflection? There. Now you yeah. can see it better. I can see you too. Boom! Yeah. Let's kill you, Daddy. Let's 
That, that's gonna kill you. Daddy, the square is only on me. Yeah. On Wait, which one's better, Ava? On me. No. <laughs> on me. Yeah, that's true. Stop. It's on me. Yeah. But the windows don't open though, so. It's on me. If you guys want open window, we'll have to open it. It's on me. It's on me. But go back there. Mama wants to show you stuff. I want this daddy. I want mama. Do you want this man? I like this man. I want this man. There's a height difference. But the camper popped and the height of the van. The same in the front, actually. The van is a few inches longer because we got it pretty much lined up in the back. Yeah, the back is perfectly lined up. So this van is probably three inches longer. Maybe a little bit more, maybe four or five inches. Longer. that that was the test drive of the Sprinter 2500 crew van 4x4 it's pretty nice man I mean it's $60,000 nice exactly 66 and change out the door so we've got a lot of thinking to do we have our baby and we have this potentially new vehicle then there's also the transit option. We still got to think through. As you would imagine, these things are super desirable and they're not really budging on the price by much. So we, uh, we don't really have a lot of bargaining power here with these rare 4x4 vans. So in order for us to make this happen, we really have to uh, sell the Casita truck and camper to free up the funds to buy that and then once we got that far then we got to build it out which is going to cost more so that's where we're at but at least now i've driven both the transit and the sprinter and honestly like i could go either one it's just i know the resale value is in the sprinter maybe the transit too but the transit is so new in the u.s it's hard to know They've only been here since 2015. But the transit line of vans have been in Europe for like 50 years. So I, I'm not worried about the reliability and the reputation. So it really just comes down to whether or not we're willing to go with the four wheel drive. And the thing about the transit four wheel drive is that you can find a transit four wheel drive converted by Quigley. And right now I've not been able to find one that's ready to go. You have to send it out and get it built. And it's about like a $13,000 job. And I got an email back from Quigley saying that right now, if you ordered, you will have it by Christmas, which is not going to work in our timeline. So reality is that this is our only four-wheel drive van option right now. And even if I got the Quigley, I'll end up being pretty close to this price because where you can find one, they don't have the long, the extended long wheelbase or the extended version of the transit at the places that have them in stock. They're asking like five grand more than this, and it's not a crew. That means you have to put windows and seats in. So that makes this not such a bad deal. Anyways, we got a lot to talk about. Honestly. We're not really sure what we're doing right now. Actually, we do, but we've got a couple of plans in place. I'll explain. We've never shared this part 
of our life, which is purchasing our next vehicle. And we've done a lot of it. We bought the truck, yeah. we bought the four-wheel camper, and we bought the casita all within the last two years. And none of that has been shared on our YouTube channel or anywhere. Just, I don't know, it feels to me like it's a... Too personal? Boring? Maybe it's too personal or maybe just like we were saying earlier today that you don't want to jinx it. You don't want things... Yeah, I guess it is too personal, right? Because if it yeah. doesn't work out, then you feel a failure. Like that you failed in front of everybody. Yeah. But I think it's important to document this, though, for ourselves, if not anybody else. Right? So, what are we doing? <laughs> we've, we've committed to at least locking the van down for 72 hours right. at the very minimum to reconsider and then we'll know more and then we'll go from there and then we'll have at least three days to work Decide. all this stuff out yeah. I think that's a good plan <clears throat> but if we lock the van down for 72 hours that means we have to come back before Easter yeah. and get it so alright let's see what this goes all right. see what this drama how this drama unfolds do, do, do. that's Rod Say hello. Hello. He's helping us on the <laughs> the van, right? That's gonna Absolutely. happen. I feel like it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. <laughs> it's gonna happen. He's the guy that we've been working with here at Mercedes. Super cool dude, helping us out. We are just getting our ducks in a row, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll get more details. There she is, right there, still. But um, we potentially have a uh, buyer for the truck camper so Daddy. barring anything happening to the truck and camper she could be going to a new owner as early as tomorrow do you have the keys